Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello there. To another great episode of Two Beers and a Mike, 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 Mike. This is another great episode of Two Beers and Mike. Here we go. Hey guys. How you doing there, buds? Doing good. Doing good. This time Stone does not have gel patches on his gooch. Thank goodness. It was a rather uncomfortable experience. <laughs> How'd it feel after the fact? Uh did it give you like any kind of like weird I mean if you could fresh? like imagine sitting kind of like on the very tip of an iceberg. Oh. Too, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Yeah. A little painful because it's like a little sharp pain. Yeah. But cold. Soothing. Yeah, buddy. It's kind of like uh I'm trying to think. Oh, it's like when you uh, when you have like a cavity and you put some ice in your mouth, or when you chew some ice and you just feel yeah. it like just go throughout the entire jaw. Oh, uh, ow! Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Like just that, just like sends that shooting ice pain throughout yeah, the entire jaw. Awful. You ever think about eating something sour and your mouth just like? Oh yeah, always stutters. Mm-mm. Bruh, that always happens to me. I'm just like ah, <laughs> like think about eating a warhead right now. Mm-mm. I don't like them. I love warheads. I like a warhead. Uh, uh C four, C four, is it C four? No. Yeah. Warhead ghost. Energy. Wait, they have one. Yeah, boy. Watermelon Ooh. sour watermelon warhead. I, I think it's that. a ghost. And then they have uh <laughs> the blue raspberry and red red raspberry sour patch kids. Oh, uh, I have seen those. those I've tried that good. one before. Have you tried the new gummy worm rain? The sour gummy worm one. It's not sour gum. It's not bear. It's yeah, worm. sour gummy worm. Yeah, it's new. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's, bloom, bloom yeah, pink. Yep, yeah, it's gas. I saw it today. I haven't tried it. I was, yeah, I have like a. Uh, it's my new fave. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, over the gummy bear. Mm, it's close, but I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it's new. Rain hasn't come out with like new stuff in a while, so I'm just like, oh yeah. It's they like need to come back out with the P train, the OG P train. It was amazing. They had one? Oh yeah, bro. A peach mango or is it no? Peach? Just straight peach. Oh, that's good because I don't like when they do a little mixture. Yeah. Like, no, it was. Quit trying to feed me mango. <laughs> <laughs> they always do try to put mango with something. Dude, it always ha- they always have to pair peach and mango. Peach tastes perfectly good just by itself. What would be like the best fruit combo? Ooh. Like strawberry banana. Everyone likes it. I'm like, no, no, I don't think so. Think about it. Think about. Not not fruit like real fruit that you're putting together, but like an artificial energy drink combo. Oh, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking blue raz, green apple. Think, That's super sour. I think that'd be gas though. Mm-hmm. I feel like the green apple would, would contradict it. Like you think? You think it would take over? Yeah. I'm trying to think. Maybe like. Maybe like blue raz watermelon. Could I say strawberry white gummy bear? Ooh, maybe. Absolutely. Or actually, I think raspberry might be a little bit better because it give a little tang to it. Probably. Like, um, you know, what I'd like maybe like a coconut watermelon. Ooh, mm. that would probably that would be guess. They should do that. Why should? Why am I not in charge of the freaking rain? That's what I'm saying. New flavor department. I'll tell you what. Whose flavor is actually really good? I may get flack for me for this, but prime. I really do like prime drinks. No comment. No, I'm just kidding. I've never had it. I've never had. So I don't say it. Yeah, I don't. I've I've actually like abstained against it. I'm like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna support that. <laughs> Apparently sure. though, like they, you know, those people on TikTok that that they'll scan the barcodes and it'll tell them like if it's like good for you or not. Yeah, like, yeah. Prime's like a thirty out of a hundred. Is it really like, for real? terrible? And they their whole thing is like oh maybe coconut water to build yeah. instead of artificial, which I get. Um, but yeah. And then there's like, there's certain waters. They're like water. A hundred percent should be a hundred. Like there's no reason why water shouldn't. And they did like Dasani and it's like a 45. They did, uh, like certain kinds of like Aquafina or something like that. Oh, and they were like sixties. I was like, bro, how was water? Not a hundred. No, but even though it was, cause they were adding like a additive electrolytes or something like that for like taste or something. I don't know. Like all the the ones that like you pay like four dollars a bottle for, they were like a hundred out of a hundred. Like Fiji. Have you seen the Skittles drinks? They're Skittles new Skittles drinks. drinks. Is it energy? No, they're just like literally just like fruit, like juice drinks. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Have you seen? 
Look like straight red 40 going down the guzzle, bro. Yeah, red 40. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Yellow six. Just, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have that as a kid. There's Dr. Pepper cotton candy at the Tom Thumb next what to my apartment. Fuck? Ew. I'm like, I, I look at it and I'm like, mm, that's something I think I'll stay away I don't from. know, though. The new spiced Coke. I'm not trying to be like, Are you, you a know, fan? Big co- it's good. Kennedy liked it. It's raspberry. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like spiced it. Coke. I like cherry Coke. Like I just got in a cherry good cherry coke. coke. I still think strawberry and cream Dr Pepper is goaded. It's good, for mm-hmm. one, for one. Yeah, for it gets one. really sweet. <laughs> gets really you know, sweet. I was doing the dirty, the dirty sodas with mm-hmm. those uh, raspberry spiced cokes. Gas, bro. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. <laughs> I could just see. Imagine it, Jake sitting in his yeah. bed, mixing them. Yeah, my little. <laughs> I got my. It was actually Coke Zero because you mm-hmm. know. Got to stay healthy. Got to you know health. Yeah. Fitness, <laughs> um, but yeah, then I, and then I throw some like hundred cal creamer in there, you know, just a splash, just to give it a little hundred cal creamer. God, <laughs> this bro used to drink creamer just straight what? out of the deal. The yeah, delights, that was like his favorite vanilla. thing. He would just grab uh, the little cups, and uh, it has to be vanilla. Delight. Yeah, I was gonna say the French vanilla ones. He would go just ham on it. I see him drink like five in a row. I'm like, bro, he goes, you don't do this? I said, no, no, I actually don't. I think I don't. <laughs> Like uh, the coffee creamer, the 32 ounce one. Yeah. Just go and like sip on it every now and then. Uh. You seen those chocolate milks in those glass bottles at like the grocery store? Oh, yeah. It's like, I know that's good. Oh, I oh, got it one time. What is strawberry it milk, too. Oh, yeah. Called? Farm. Yeah. Farm. For, farmhouse, I yeah. think. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh, There's another know. one. Like, uh, it's called like 1911. Yep. yep yeah. Yep, right. Yep. Farms or something. Is that, yeah. 1911 is that the farms. One with the Texas flag on it. I think it no. just has a cow. Yeah, it's just a cow. It's like a oh. doodle of a cow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Horizon? They have one, maybe? No. no. Horizon is straight, like, Highland oh. carton. Highland's good. Highland is really that's good. The, that's the that's best. That's the goaded stuff right yeah. there, dude. Highland chocolate milk, dude. It tastes like just chocolate ice cream melted in your bowl. Mm-hmm. You got it real Trumu. cold. Trumu is good. Trumu is good. I like a good Trumu. Trumu. I think Trumu is better than Borden. Ooh, hot take. Hot take. I don't know. We, we should do that one time, a little chalky milk taste test. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, milk. where does Nesquik rank for you? I was going to say Nesquik know. for me is only strawberry. Nesquik and is low for me, bro. I don't remember really doing Nesquik, personally. I think we did Yoohoo's. Oh, uh. Yahoo's. Yahoo's. I, I like you who though. I could not like stop. It, it tastes them. like chocolate water, bro. I was it, gonna it say is it, is, it is yeah. thinner. Yeah. It tastes literally like chocolate water. And I'm somebody who likes their drinks a little bit sweeter. But granted, I'm we weren't the family that had sodas or that in our fridge. So no, I had to either. go to like someone else's house to do that. Yeah. So like one of my buddies growing up, we would that he would have it stocked. And you know, I'd just drink it from there. Oh. Yeah. We had like propel. Oh, I was no. like, come on. Fruit groups. <laughs> we had like Mio. We had, Her- <laughs> we had Hershey syrup. That's what we had to use for our chocolate milk. My dad, that's what, all he got was Hershey syrup. Although that, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's what we did. Mm-hmm. Just freaking go to go to town. Did you ever have one of those little uh, uh, mixer cups that you press the button and it yeah. has the little the mixer? Blender? In it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we had a Bamix, bro, from like 1980. It was one of those hand mixers. Okay. So like it would it would be uh it would fit in any kind of glass. So it was about I don't know like that big, and then it would just like it would have like different attachments. But there was like a blade attachment. You can make like smoothies. You can mix like your whatever whatever you wanted to do. Basically, you could like cr- that thing was powerful. You would you plug it in, bro. It looked like it looked like it was from the 90s. Mm. Like like you know it probably was white, but it was like starting to get that like dingy yellow. You know like like all those Ew. appliances. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. That was just like the the base. And then it was just like a metal metal rod. You hit that, you hit that thing, you just hear in that cup. But yeah, you just mix some chalky milk with that. That, that was like a powerful blender. It's probably more powerful than a ninja. Probably. Ninjas are powerful. Thing went to town. Dude. You got to get the right ninja, though. Yeah, facts. Because they do have some that they'll try to fool you. It's like a 200 watt. Spinner and it's, the thing will burn out. Yeah, I'm trying but, to crush ice. You gotta get the thousand watt. Mm. You see how things like, loud though. That's crazy to me how companies will make a crappy version of something. Or it's like all those well. TVs that you get like Black Friday for like ninety dollars. They're crap. 
They can't even run Netflix. Netflix, the Netflix software crashes the TV because <laughs> I have one <laughs> in yeah. the bedroom. Yeah, I'll like I'll be trying to get on Netflix and like of course Netflix has to go freaking stupid with their interface, you know, with all the like and all that stuff. And then there's times when like I'll be like pressing the Roku remote. And that thing will just like that that thing will just like go to the home screen. I'm like, come on, you yeah, gotta like watch on Netflix. Three steps ahead, and you're like, bro. Ugh. And you're like you can't pause it. You're like trying to pause it, or like you're trying to hit the home button, and then you're like, screw it, I'll turn it off. And it's like ten seconds go by, oh, and then it like <laughs> goes to the home, and then, and then power off. off. Yeah, <laughs> like, bro, I'm like freaking Roku TVs, dude. But God. TVs got cheap though. It's true. Like you can spend three grand on a freaking bomb Samsung. Oh yeah. UHD crystal, blah blah blah. Eighty inch. Would yeah. you rather have a TV or a project? A projector. projector projector a good one a for good sure projector. like a fo- they have 4k projectors mm-hmm. it'd be sick i would definitely do like a little movie room yeah that'd be, that'd dope. be dope that'd be dope that'd be like the new we're gonna do that for when we build our compound we could just have a movie theater well we're gonna build the we're gonna build a studio you're gonna have to travel a little farther we're gonna build a dope studio that would be kind of sick can't lie and you know what we should do hmm. we should make it gaming in. yeah but, okay, sorry, don't want to cut you off. No, no, no. I was <laughs> gonna say, I was gonna say, we should make it into the shape of a beer, bro. Yes, like a like like the U hauls that could, have like the box in front of the entrance. You remember seeing those going down the road? It's like a, it's like the front office is like a box. It's it's like shaped facts. like a box. You seen that? Yeah, what you could heck? definitely do that. But we could do it. It would be shaped like a beer. Get one of those little uh or little one of the rice grain bins. Yeah. We build that out, it? yeah. Someone would come by and some wood handles on the side of it. Paint it, it like yeah, a Bud no. Light, though. <laughs> no. Oh no, that would be like a like a like a st- uh, what do they even call it? A stein? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be dope. Oh, that'd be that easy. Would, that'd be easy. How much you think it'd cost? No, bro, not much. Yeah. You're only talking like we'd build it about the size of well, probably a little bigger than this room. So, I mean, was this room 100 square feet? If that. Yeah, probably 120. Like ten by ten, yeah. So we would do like probably like a like a ten by fifteen, maybe mm. one hundred fifty, two hundred square foot. Maybe we make it a little bigger with some little additives, you know, this, that, and the other. So you know, you're probably talking a price of roughly two hundred a square foot because you're not you're not like throwing like a bunch of crap in there. You know, you're not doing hardwood floors, you know. You're we don't like, get a toilet. No, no toilet. No toilet. Go no. poop outside. We'll build, we'll build the outhouse. Don't tell me to poop outside. <laughs> Don't tell, Stone will build a latrine. <laughs> I've pooped outside. You know he'll build a latrine, squat down on a, on the on the tree and just... We should do a two beers camping trip. <laughs> I agree. That would be fun. I'd do that. We should do that I've soon. been wanting to go... Yeah, I've been wanting to go camping That'd be again. easy. Oh, yeah. We could literally drive down to Purtis Creek again. Oh, yeah. They have, they have campsites where you're literally just on the shoreline right there. Really? Yeah. That's dope. Now yeah, you gotta be careful it. of like snakes. Literally, when we came down there, the first thing that we saw was a six foot water moccasin just slithering across the water. I was like, "Ain't no way, boys." You know what I mean? It's your, it's your I, swamp, swamp <laughs> slug. I grabbed my head, <laughs> shoulders, slug. and I went in the water and took a shower. Yeah, yeah, we did. That was probably that was probably one of the gayest things I've done yeah. is getting the lake okay, naked now, with four up. other men. No, 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 no. We didn't do that. Yeah, we did. No. You did? Yeah, we did. I didn't get naked with this dude, nor did oh. I get naked with any, with, <laughs> with two with two point. other dudes. We were in our shorts. Okay. Don't, don't. Somewhere. You might have to shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even smell it. <laughs> so, good thing the air vent's blowing that <laughs> way. <laughs> That's that schnauz, boy. Yeah. He, God, he, dude. Go he detected it before it even came out. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Burn. Yeah, no, lots, of, but, lots of incense in here. <laughs> Dude. How, can we talk about that? What? Why all gas stations smell like incense? Dude, it's either incense or freaking BO. Did, I swear, after every... Ugh. Anytime I go there, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, it you smell them blue-collar boys. Yeah, boy. Every day. Making burritos? Mm-hmm. Those gas station burritos will mess you up. All sups. That chicken or that chili and cheese oh. station that they oh. put on their hot dogs. What the Did heck? you have a do y'all have all subs in Paris? No, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We had a set we had some set well, we finally got some Sefcos. Sefcos. We actually had this place we actually had this place called Quick Quick Check. They had the dude, they had the 
you ever had a uh, so I had the gas chicken tenders, like good chicken tenders. And then you ever had a um oh it's kinda like a it's kind of like those little taquitos, you know, but they're not taquitos. They're called crispitos. Oh, yeah. Bro. Crispitos are great. So it was like instead of... They're like, flakier? Yes. Yeah. And they're Thinner. like creamy. Like It's like yeah. creamy sauce with like a chicken, like the like shredded chicken in it. Oh, bro. I love crispitos. What's the worst gas station hot food? Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe like the pork... <laughs> Uh, egg I would, rolls yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are on the roller. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think they're like I. I don't mind. Like I'm not picky, picky. when it comes to that stuff. So me I'm, either. I'll That's like, the hard part. Like you know, I'll get a couple hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, the worst thing that I've probably seen is like some some chitlins. Like what? Yeah. Really? They would have like fried in Mississippi. They had a gas station called um, Chitlins. Uh, yeah, Chitlins. Well, no, the gas station so wasn't what cold. I was about to say. Uh, chitlins, what are those? It's like... The feet. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. The the chicken feet? It's like that. You're talking about with like the... They had those yeah, yeah. in the gas station? Yeah. That's nasty. Bro, that's too It was low. right down the road from uh, Barton's Mm-mm. in Oklahoma. They, Oklahoma. They'd have pickled pig's feet. Oh, oh yeah. dude. Oh, when Sweet. when a gas station has oh, yeah. pickled eggs in a jar, just yeah. like on the the end shelf, that's they're just probably like, the worst thing that you can like, get. Local farmer trying to sell there. I'm not going to lie, eggs. Though, but p- pickle wise, like no nah, pickled eggs doesn't are good. doesn't stuff that or I'm not probably using the word right. Pickleized, no nah, pickling it, pickled or pickled. Yeah. It's like it's better if it's aged longer. Uh, Ish. I think it makes it to where things last longer. Yeah. Like if you pickle something, it'll have like a higher, like a like a longer expiration. But you can't. Uh, it's not. You can only get so much pickle flavor into soaked into the food yeah. object, like the brine. Yeah, it's all it is is like vinegar and water and like salt and sugar. Yeah, I think and like some mix. Yeah, they have pickle mix that you can buy. Pickled quail eggs are actually really good. Really? Yeah, they're small. They're real like tender. Do they taste like pickles? Um, uh, yes and no. It's I'm got the sourness of a per- you're that's, Really? That's I what am. throws me off. Because like whenever people do like the bread and like the oil and vinegar, I don't like the vinegar. Mm. So that that's what throws I the do. balsamic. Is that what you don't? Yeah, the I balsamic don't vinegar. Don't you don't like, like that? No, that's tough. And it kind of throws. It kind of sucks because like that's a lot of salad dressings. You yeah, know, that I'm missing out on. This is very true. Like vinaigrettes and stuff. I'm just like, ugh. Can't do it. I can't do it. That's yeah. why Tate always makes fun of me. She's like, "All oh, you like a Caesar salad and whatever, like Cobb hey, with ranch." Okay. And I'm like, "I love, I Caesar, love salad. Caesar salad." I'm telling you, amazing Cobb salad too, with like some ham and some. Oh, what's the best? What's the best salad topping? Bacon croutons. Oh, I agree. True herb. You like ha- you need garlic that. and herbs. Croutons. You got to have croutons. Bacon on it. though, you were close. So you almost had me at bacon. Yeah, no, Same. bacon bits are definitely bacon up bits. There. Okay, make. Everyone, real quick, make the ultimate salad right now. Like Ooh. all, like lettuce, okay. dressing. You get one dressing and then as many toppings as you want. Hmm. Mm. What See, is that? That might make a difference because, like Caesar, you can you can't like do certain things on a Caesar. You know, can I add uh, protein? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I would probably do just like a romaine lettuce. Okay, with um. I would probably do a Italian style dressing. Okay. With like Olive Garden. Hmm? Olive Garden dressing. Is that Italian style? I don't know. I don't know. Kind of. I don't. I know what you mean. But yeah, yeah, like okay. the orange oh, dressing. Catalina. Mm. You talking about French? No, <laughs> Italian dressing. He said orange. Yeah, like, orange is not Italian. It's like it's Italians like, like clear. Clear, yeah. It's it, like, but that's what, it's like it got an orange tint to it. Mm. I know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, de- no, it's definitely a team. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> <laughs> kind of salad dressing my eye eating. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, anyway. So but no, it, I, Italian so style. I do a, sal- a, a Italian. <laughs> Italian. Italian salad. <laughs> 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 I need to find new friends. <laughs> okay, anyway. Italian style dressing. Yeah. Romaine lettuce. Maybe some bacon bits. <laughs> Maybe. Croutons. Piece <laughs> of chicken. I feel like yeah. you're giving up. What right kind now. of chicken? Chicken thigh, chicken breast. 
Probably the thigh. Chicken leg. And then I would, uh, but they have to be the hard bacon bits. I want the hard. Yeah, bacon you bits. don't want the soft ones. Mm. No, the soft ones are nasty. You, you don't know? want the you don't want the silicone and package some mozzarella that cheese. Falls out. Ooh, mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. cheese. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Some mozzarella. That's actually good. That I would love to go good. to Italy. Oh, dude. It Italy. All right, your turn. Um, we'll talk about Italy in a second. Mm. Pasta. Iceberg lettuce. <laughs> Iceberg. Soups. Shaved carrots. Oh. That's a good addition, that crunch. I like that. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, he's really thinking hard on this one. Yeah. Uh, croutons, obviously. For sure. What kind, though? Like the ones that have like the, you know, the the rye, the rye chip croutons, mm-hmm. the, the brown, like the brown ones. Like they're all brown, but like the dark brown. They're harder, aren't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. The okay. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Um, probably those are the rye. What's that orange cabbage, right? No, uh, the, the orange purple? one. Yeah, the purple, the orange. Purple cabbage. Yeah, yeah purple cabbage. Cabbage. Uh, little strips of that. Oh, you, you're branching out. I yeah. like that. Look at him. He's he's got like a nice diverse salad going. Um, I do steak bits. Did you tell us what dressing? No, not, not yet. yet. Oh, is that the end? That's the finale. Yeah. Okay. Steak. And for my dressing. What kind of steak? Like carne asada? I wouldn't want a thick steak, so probably like a New York strip. Nah. Oh, dude, yeah. That'd be solid. Dude, you're making I can me just, I can just, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm watering, bro. Oh. Uh, I can think of like that, uh, that New York strip, oh like my God. juices just melting with like. Mm. Hey, bro, let's go to, let's go to a nice dinner after this. Bro. Oh, never mind. Finish. Go get some steak. Uh. I don't know the name. I actually have to show you guys. I think you'd like the dressing. Um, onion. It's an onion dressing. You lost me. <laughs> it's not everything was good. <laughs> onion that. dressing. Onion or garlic? Are you sure it's onion? It was an onion. Okay. Um, like French onion. <laughs> it was like it was a light, one of the light versions. Okay. But um, it was like. Here, let me see if I can find it. Keep thinking about it. Or keep is, naming things. Just name? keep naming things and all. All right. It was onion. Sweet onion. Sweet onion oh, dressing? Oh, yeah. 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 Look it up real quick. Just put... Yeah, su- sweet Vidalia onion by Ken's. Yes. Yep. That's it right there. Boom. Best one. All right. Okay. All right. For me. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to throw a little twist in there, right? I'm going to do... No lettuce. A spring mix. <laughs> Yeah, no, I want lettuce in there, but it's the okay. spring mix. So okay. you throw a little spinach, a little kale. Yeah. I like some kale. Some cabbage and some lettuce, like this regular, I don't know, whatever, whatever regular iceberg lettuce, I guess. Yeah. I do like romaine, but romaine's a Caesar thing for mm-hmm. me. Like, I gotta, you gotta separate them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say, like, like a like a cold Red Robin Ranch. You ever had Red Robin Ranch? Mm-mm. Gas, dude. Really? Red or Robin. like even Yum. Hidden Valley, like if you put Hidden Valley and it was just like cold, like Hidden Valley is really Hidden close. Valley does have Butter a very milk. distinct yeah. uh, taste. So some Hidden Valley Ranch, that's my topping. All right, ready, ready. Egg, oh, hard boiled egg. I forgot about that. I yeah, can't buddy, lie. that is crazy. Hard bacon bits, uh, garlic and herb croutons. Ooh. I'm gonna go with you on shaved carrots. I like shaved, shaved carrots. Shaved carrots make it taste good. That's good. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else? I'm trying to think of just like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do your New York strip steak. I think that. Oh no, actually, I'm gonna I'm, charbroiled shrimp. Oh, that's get behind fire. It. And what kind of dressing? You said, he ranch. said ranch. And I'm thinking of like, I'm trying to think of what cheese. Oh, I was going to say, finishing it, it off with some You know what I'm thinking? Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Just some, just some three three blend Fiesta Mexican, Mexican style Ooh, cheese on top. There you go. You got yourself Ooh. a taco salad just uh, about, baby. No, nah, that. Ooh. Yeah. You guys rate which, which salad sounded better out of all three of us. Well, I mean, it was each Mine of our dream salads. So... Ooh. You know, yours kind of sounded plain stone. Just saying, it helps going third because okay. you get ideas. Yeah, because yeah. I never would have said shaved carrots if you didn't say it. Yeah, 
You know, the only reason I know all of that is because I do orders and I just see the different type of uh, <laughs> lettuces they get or like lettuces, lettuce, salads, lettuce, lettuce. What uh? What's the worst? Just one worst salad, uh, topping, dressing, anything. Worst. I think it's sunflower seeds. Oh, crazy! I would add those. Really? I've never had. Oh, I've like heard them. of sunflower from Jason's salad, Deli. But I've never, I've never had one. Really? Mm -hmm. Jason's Deli. I would say Bro, that Jason's Deli salad bar. Oh, dude, so good. Go town. They got good ranch. Yeah, they do. I would say like. Uh, you know, it's a sleeper. I'm just like the salad bar wise, CC's. Yeah, oh, I yeah. love CC's. I love CC's. CC's Bro, I would amazing. go if I go to places like that, Golden Corral, <laughs> uh, uh, CC's, like any buffet, even the even the the Chinese buffets. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm yeah. getting a plate, and I'm literally like maybe like six six to eight inches tall salad, oh, and I will just. I always Garbage start shit. and finish with a salad every time. It's amazing. Start and finish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Got to. Um, even after your your cinnamon rolls from CC's, you're yeah. eating a salad after. I that? swear. Yes. Really. Mm -hmm. I have to. So what we did? Me and my buddy did a challenge once. CC's. I ate 27 pizzas of pizza. I think the most I ever had was 17. Poor. Yeah. It was. Well, tough. okay. I take that back. Each cinnamon. Uh, I had a Did salad. Did you eat the crust? We had it. Yes. Okay. Um. And the the deal was my salad. We like equated that to like six pieces, because it was big. Let's go to Cece's. Oh, bro! Oh, I open? wish I could. <laughs> he said, "Your tomorrow? stomach would be hurting for what the wedding." Doing? What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I could do it. Going to your rehearsal dinner. Rehearsal dinner. I could tell you, Jason. But Cece's. That does sound gas. I'm telling you, dude. We had a CC's in Paris and it shut down. Really? It turned into a go-kart track. What? Like, That's pretty cool. Yeah, but I would rather have the CC's. Fair. You guys Okay, so, had... like, sorry. Worst salad mm. dressing topping. What the What's the sliced, um, like, gelatin sauce that they use for Thanksgiving? Ooh. Oh, cranberry juice yeah. sauce? Oh, the you're right, though. Sauce. That's pretty nasty. I don't like blue cheese crumbles. I could deal with it on a Caesar salad. I like blue cheese yeah, crumbles. I don't like blue cheese at all. <laughs> a little too moldy for you? A little bit. Mm. I just don't like the taste of mold. I feel you. You know, imagine dipping that in your, your wings and some oh, blue cheese. I saw this cheese the other day on TikTok where it was, uh, what they did was they fermented this cheese, right? Uh -huh. um, but they would plant maggots in it. And so Bro, don't say that to me. Maggots right would grow in the cheese, giving it a very like, apparently yogurt like texture and a yogurt like taste like a like a oikos yogurt just a plain yogurt oh that's <laughs> how it makes you feel he keeps saying cheese <laughs> what is tummy hurts yeah that's like that's nice. edible yeah oh yeah it's considered like a delicacy and people but people are afraid to eat it because of all the maggots because when you slice a piece open you will like see the maggots inside of it i'll put a clip up there for us uh -huh. You see maybe, maggots maybe inside of it, and they still eat it. Oh yeah, you eat around the maggots. Mm -hmm. That's we, no, uh, you just whoosh, you spread it on a cracker. It's real. Th it like spreads like oh. butter. Interesting. There's just a bowl of maggots with some cheese. I saw a TikTok mm. that said um, it was talking about cheese and like the. It was like I want to say it was during like the 08 housing crisis or something like mm -hmm. that when like the stock market crashed. Right. They were talking about. The government, it was crazy. It was like this crazy story. The government started hoarding cheese, and they <laughs> and they put it in like a facility because like cheese was like the backbone of like farming or something. Like it had something to do with farming, and they were worried about like farmers. Think about like all the stuff that has cheese in it. So like I think they were just thinking like this this industry can't fail. Right. So they started hoarding all this cheese. Well, Bruh. then. Companies like Papa John's, Papa Murphy's, like all these like name brand companies apparently are like have deals with the government that like they get this like since like that never the the cheese market never was impacted, I guess, at the right. time. So like now they had like all this like surplus of cheese. And so like all these big companies like Domino's and Pizza Hut and all them, they're like but they're like getting this cheese from the government. So it's all government cheese. Government cheese. So we're just eating a bunch of government cheese. Singles. Craft singles. What's the best pizza place in y'all's opinion? 
I don't like, know. I haven't like, been to enough pizza places. Like, like overall, like value taste combo. You know, like you can you could say like, oh well, obviously the best one is New York. Blah 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 blah. blah. I like Conan Rosso. Out of the ones no, that no, I've no, tried, I mean, I mean chains. I'm sorry. Oh, chains. Okay, thank goodness. I do like uh, Conan Rosso is good. I probably Birds is. I'd say Domino's. You like that? It's the most consistent. Yeah. I'm telling you, pineapple Little bacon Caesars, pizza. Little Caesars, though. Little Caesars slaps. Little Caesars is P-P. gas. Who? PP. PP. What are you talking P-P. about? Papa Patron. Is that a chain? Yeah. It is? I've never yes. heard of that. I like pizza. Mm-hmm. Pizza Hut's hit or miss for me. Have you ever been to Pizza Getty? No. Oh. Sounds like a festival. It's like it's similar to like Gaddy Town or like a main event type thing, but oh. it's CC's. So like you just... It's buffet pizza. Ooh. Yeah. I love buffet Dude. pizza, bro. <laughs> you want to go to CC's? No. Oh. Yeah, I do want to go to CC's. But, like, okay. you know what's also a really good pizza? Hmm. Cruise pizza. Never cruise, cruise pizza at, like, 1 a.m.? Never heard. Like, on a cruise. Oh. Oh, cruise pizza. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's the only place that's open because, like, they stay open till like, 2 a.m. You just go in there and you just get a plate. Of pizza, they do have good just, pizza. You just go to your room. Just You'll, go to your room, bro. <laughs> when are you going on your cruise? Uh, we we postponed it to later, uh, so we're gonna go probably in between my birthday and his. So mine's October, his is December. Your partner? That's what they yeah. say to go. Yeah. So your partner? <laughs> you didn't catch me. We'll try that. to. He is my partner in crime. Oh, in crime, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, we were told to go. Try to escape the cold when it's cold over here. Just go somewhere warm. Smart. Makes more sense. Yeah. So if it's like seventy, you're like I'm out because that's too that's too cold for George. That's very true. Bro, be in a hoodie and be shivering. You didn't notice the last day we were there. I turned the AC off. Yeah, it was hot. <laughs> I was sweating. Cool. I like. Both I kept looking at Jake. I'm like, I wonder if he's gonna notice. That's why. That's why. At the end of the bed, all my sheets were there except for the freaking one that you can see through. <laughs> Except for the one you can see through. Where was that one? Yeah, you saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your head was. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> God, guys. Oh, yeah, I don't know no, about your letter Kenny. Yeah, letter Kenny. Yeah, that's what I was watching. Have, have you, Riley? I only let Jonesy's mom stick a finger at my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but that show is so hilarious, bro. Oh, my God. Letter Kenny. I was eating. I was uh, drinking. I I sent that in the group message, didn't I? Um, I said. Uh, I said, drinking some. Uh, got some brew with the boys the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of brew with the boys the other day, we're we gonna, gonna try, try brew a beer. With the boys the other day, we're gonna try a beer from uh, I don't know where company, but uh, we're gonna drink one. Mexico, I think so. So, I'm gonna talk like. Uh, I'm gonna George. Talk, no, I'm gonna talk like uh, Wayne for the rest of the time. <laughs> so here we have a Cruz Blanco, Mexico calling Lager Especial. Well, you see, um, there's nothing special about this can. It doesn't tell us anything. Just has a lot of lines. Don't you say? Take about 5% off there, uh, Squirrely Dan. Squirrely George. Um, yeah, I don't. This is not going to get a high can design from me. I think it was pretty cool. See. But uh, there's nothing, nothing like it doesn't say anything. It's kind of like a. Looks like the Greek flag. Hmm. True. I love all your little rogue pouches. That yeah, I was just... actually looking for some in my pocket. I've started a rogue collection on the door. Yeah, it looks it's good. You yeah. should make see if you can make a pattern. See if you can make a pattern. Try. All right. Do my best. Let's do a little uh, Sick. paparoon. It's Let's a, do lager, a little paparoon. lager special. You already said 4.7%. Where'd you get this from? I got this from Kroger. Kroger. Kro- Krogers. K. Rogers? K. Rogers. K. Rogers. Caraga. It's a craft cerveza. Oh, a cerveza. We haven't had a cerveza, cerveza. in a while. Uh-uh. Pop that can for the bowl. Do you know what a cerveza is? Hey, take about 5 to 10% off there, Squirrelly George. Oh, that made my penis hard, don't you say? Don't you know? Oh. <laughs> Smell like a Modelo? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's, uh, <laughs> don't give me the, don't give me the cum glass. Please. Uh, American <laughs> pie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> is that is that your, your new way of telling George to be quiet? No, yeah, let's take, take about, about five percent off there, there squirrely, squirrely George. <laughs> no, what are you, what are you? I was wondering I why you were saying about. that. <laughs> I was like, what are you 
talking about? So at the in the show, right, Wayne has a sister, and Squirrely Dan is his name. That's what they call him. He likes uh, he likes the sister, or whatever, and so he goes, "Oh, Katie, uh, you know, you you always look out for us, and that's You're what so I appreciate lovely. about you." And she and she goes, "Is that what you appreciate?" appreciate about me and then wayne goes take about five to ten percent off there squirrely dan <laughs> <laughs> so every time george gets out of line we're like take about five to ten percent off there squirrely george <laughs> that's that was kind of funny i was just curious as to why you said they have that. so many like little one-liners that i just want to copy ready we should we do it like the like they do ready to the oh yeah down I the hatch start do that down the hatch down the hatch we'll do that oh we gotta gulp it no you just you no, just, you just, you just tap, tap, twice. Twice. tap twice tap twice tap twice yeah, so hold on. Give a little sniffer. Yeah. Sniffer Rooney. Smells. Ooh. I like it. It smells good. This might be the previous beers, you know, all collecting in the snifter. I like it. I like the color. Got some particles in mine. Pretty color. Yeah. It's a very pretty color. Okay, so um can designed, or we'll do all of this at once, I guess. All yeah. right, but uh y'all ready? Yep. Yeah. Right. Get her boys. Down Pinkies. the hatch. Ooh, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I agree, and it's not entirely it's not cold. cold. Sorry, no, not your no, fault. No, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's the fridge's fault. <laughs> George the was fr- sitting on him in the car. Yeah, ripping butt, ripping butt, or ripping butt. Have you ever dude. done that where you've accidentally left like a cold can in between your legs in the car, and then you like pick it up and it's just warm? You're like, oh, you're like that's nasty. Mm, I still drink it. Hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> Okay. It's like really light and it feels like whenever I could crush these. Yeah. This tastes like a Would another I? well known beer. Would I crush these? I don't know, but I could. Mm. What's the beer that Kirby used to like drinking? That's what this tastes like. Shiner? No. Modelo. Yes. Corona. Um okay. Can design. Zero to one. I'm gonna go. I'll go point. I mean, it's, five. it's it's out there. I was gonna say that. Like, that's the highest I could probably give it. It's yeah. not like ugly by any no. means, you know. But it's 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 plain. You would definitely be able to tell what what like beer it was if you knew what you were looking for. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you could go solely off of. You the look can. at it, you'd be like, "That's a cerveza." Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you that. What do you guys think that means? Cerveza just means beer in Spanish. So why 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 did you guys say? Oh look, we haven't had a cerveza in a while. So it, a cerveza is a type of beer. So like if you get a a, a Modelo, if you get a Corona, if you get any of those beers, they're called cervezas. Like that's what they are. So it's like a cerveza is like a type of like it's a lager, beer beer. I think. I was just. No, it's a, it's a distinct like thing. Oh. Like like a cerveza is a cerveza. Like if you taste a. Corona, a Modelo, like they all have, like they're all loggers, I think, but they're cervezas. They all have like a distinct, like it's the the Mexican beer taste. Mm. You know what I mean? They all have the same distinct vibe. I feel it's pretty good That's though. Probably why it, I, I could. Uh, it tastes like another beer. So we got a point five. Can description. It's a cerveza. It tastes like a cerveza. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give it like a point, or it's a one to three, like a one point five. Yeah, like I'm with thanks. you there. Very, I mean, yeah, it, you get what you what you expect out of it. Taste? Probably a little bit better. What than, are you thinking on taste? Yeah. I'm thinking taste probably a solid 3.2. Out of six? I think it's pleasantly like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's a good score. Yeah. I think it's one of those that's like, doesn't let you down, no. but it's not something you're going to be like, bro, Looking you need to. to try this. Yeah. You know, like if you pick this up and you drink it, you'd be like, all right, cool. I could have another. Thanks. Yeah, I could drink this in a social setting for right. sure, like one or two, just about like four. So George, do you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or meh, yeah. or a meh, or a meh, or a meh? He gives it a thumbs meh. Thumbs up. You know um, what they said that I look like this weekend? Yeah. Waluigi. Dunny. Dunny. Waluigi. Waluigi. I tell you what, I'm not being funny, but I could see the little. I could see see the Waluigi and Wario combination. (laughs) He said last night, he said, at least I'm not Wario. I I look like Wario? Not look. I'm just saying, like, 
the combo. Combo. I mm. can see you guys being that if he's wild. I'd rather be Donkey Kong, but thanks. Diddy Kong, me and you. Donkey You're Diddy. Kong and Diddy You're Kong. Diddy Kong for sure. <laughs> he's the alligator. Yeah. Huh? No, he's the shy guy. <laughs> Wait, which one? Or you're Yoshi. That's awesome. Yoshi. That's awesome. <laughs> you ever play that game, the Yoshi on the DS? Oh, uh, the uh, one, yeah. Yoshi that game Island. was awesome. I didn't play that one. What was the oh? What was the best racing game on what console? Well, or oh, dude, Mario Kart on for oh, sure. You're tripping. On what, what console? What 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 racing on game Wii? are you talking any, about? Any Horizon. Any Horizon. Forza, Forza, Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. I don't know. I like think Forza. Is, I feel like you can't really say Mario Kart though, because like no, you can't. It doesn't really. It's cartoon. Yeah, I would have said Mario Kart on the Wii. Now, mm-hmm. best Grand party Turismo? game. Oh, Mario Party Eight. Okay, I, I was gonna say Mario Party. Yeah. What was the one on the? They had a certain one on the uh, GameCube. That was Mario, yeah, Mario Party, Party like, Three and Seven. Yeah, they something. had a whole bunch of yeah. them. six or something. That was fun. GameCube was super sick. Game, I still have mine. Do you really? Yeah. I need to bring. You know what we need to do? We need to mount a TV in here, and I have a Wii, and we need to play. I got Smash Bros. Yeah, my favorite Wii game of all time is Mario Super Strikers. It's the soccer one. Mm, I love, I that love one, Super Strikers. They, they're so slept on that one. Super Strikers. Didn't they just come out with a football one? I think they came out with a football Mario. I don't know. Yeah, I think they did. That's lame. That would be cool. But that would, yeah. Uh, like a, they're, I like the Olympic one. That was fun. Mm-hmm. They're coming out with a new, not Mario, but Smash Bros for like, I think, Cartoon Network. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a Smash Bros style game that we could play. Um, it's called Brawlhalla. It's, oh, and has the Nickelodeons? Maybe. I think so. I saw it's the cartoon. person from Loud House or Louder House, whatever. But it's mm. fun. Yeah. It's really fun. We've been playing Fall Guys. We've been streaming Fall Guys. Fall Guys is fun. Streaming Fall Guys. We've been streaming uh, Fortnite. I learned uh, how to play Rocket League. Two beers gaming. Are you Are you playing building? Hell no. Nah. Get That's out of here. I'm not going to lie. That's why I can't play. No. You, we play I no build. Building. We play no build. We got to build, man. I like building. I've succumbed to the pressure. You no <laughs> build. building? Oh, no, yeah. so, no build is the bomb. Yeah, I like. I mean, I like no build, but th- I learned how to play building. I did, but that was when I was playing like season three, mm. and all I had to do was build like a little, little yeah. two by four. Oh, it no. just sucks. And I'd be like, all right, on... I hate playing against freaking dudes that are like <laughs> because <laughs> look what you stupid, have, bro. That's it's why. stupid. It's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. No, you get a lot more sweaty uh, lobbies with a PC. I feel, yeah. especially. No, it's just all around. Like really? I remember playing. Yeah, I remember playing on PS4 and 5. No, they definitely bro. do still have people like that on those consoles, but mainly your lobbies definitely look like just when I, when I say horrible, I mean like hard. Sweaty. Like I know your your lobbies just look horrible. Like when you play Rainbow Six Siege, you cannot play Rainbow on PC. Like really? that's like the sweatiest of all sweaty players of all time, dude. <laughs> CS:GO too. CS:GO really? on uh on PC super sweaty brownie was super into uh rainbow six i love rainbow six but i can't play it because there's dude you got players like sketch on there that's what i was about to say (laughs) bro sketch is oh my gosh what an amazing character tuesday tuesday brother teams hey brother i don't even know what that is see oh uncultured swine god think about five ten percent off there it's really now screwly george um, there, there have been so many like professional athletes and college athletes that have like done uh, sketch in windows. Hey there, brother. Hey, brother. There she was some did. dude from Ohio State that on the court the other day when he got a uh, when he got a bucket, he was like, "Yeah, what Tuesday, is this Tuesday." It's this streamer. His name's Sketch, right? He goes uh, by Sketch. He kind of looks like he has Down syndrome. But I was going to say, the, I was going to say the tism. Oh, definitely. But he the, he went on a thing. He had a podcast. That, yeah, like, he with speaks, Bradley Martin. He speaks totally normal. Yeah. It's like, it's they say that it's kind of a, confu- or not confused, but a fine line between like who he actually is and like a character because he's not just, it's like how we are. It's you know, we're amplified behind like a camera. You know what I'm saying? But not necessarily, we're not acting like that all the time. We may do things that we would do behind the camera. Not on the public. I don't know. No, I'm real all the time. All the time. I'm real all I'm real Jake all the time. 
Real Jake. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the final score on that beer? Uh, oh. We had a point five. We had a one point five, so that was a two, and then we gave it a three point two, right? So yeah. that would be a five two. point two. No, seven. We said one point five plus point. Oh, never mind. I'm tweaking my math off. So what? It's a what? It's a it's a five point two out of ten. Yeah. Just I think it's I think it's a good yeah. score. It's, it's above. Yeah. It's when you drink it, you're just not like meh. It's a little bit like a meh. Yeah. Yeah. So not bad. Like a little point two over mid. Yeah. I dig it. I dig mm-hmm. it. You're gonna have a fun time finding that for the clip. <laughs> About ten minutes in between there. No, no joke. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. We should uh we should put some uh put some beers in my new whiskey barrel here. We should make you chug a couple out of your whiskey barrel. Yeah, boy. Get ready for Saturday. Six, 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 party with the devil. <laughs> yeah. You heard that song? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should probably not sing that. <laughs> probably getting beep. Yeah, we'll have to beat that out. Yeah. Um, you excited for your wedding Saturday? Hell yeah. Brother. Yeah. It's time. Let's That's do crazy. It. How do you feel? Do it. I feel ecstatic. I literally looked at Tate today and I was like, isn't it crazy how, like, think about all the times when you're like, like, like for you, for instance, like you're just trying to find your person. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm two days away from like, Securing that Securing person. that for like life I mean he already did But like like In front of everyone And yeah. like And like to the state And everything it's just Do you like, think you're gonna cry crazy. Saying your vows oh, yeah 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 That's why they're private I'm already crying Oh are they really Yeah Oh that's Well sweet. I don't know I, I think Cause like you guys are doing Your first look <laughs> Yeah With her You and Aaron And your Yeah dad. that's gonna suck And then you're gonna cry Yeah bro Um, I'm gonna cry tomorrow So are we giving speeches tomorrow Tomorrow's speech day Okay. So everyone who wants to do one. I'll keep it rather short and sweet. <laughs> you do one. Sick. And then George can show up and just be like, I just want to rock, rock, rock. Bye, yeah, I'm here yeah. for the party. Yeah. Woo! Where to kick it? Lil John's coming. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Hey, dude, actually, I didn't even get a piece of cake at yours. I barely got a piece of cake at mine. I didn't even know they had cake at yours. It was so good. It's like a strawberry uh, cake. Oh, yeah. That's because it was on your cream face. Cream cheese ice cream. Yeah, but like we just <laughs> her dad took home the cake after the fact and ate on it for like a week. We ne- for real? literally I had one bite of that cake and that was the only time. Dang. Yeah. But we sad. got all the liquor back. Yeah, we need to go by Castellinda Bakery and uh I'm going tomorrow to pick up my cakes. Are you really? Nice. We got three sheet cakes from there. Nice. All types of different flavors. What flavors? Flavor flavors of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I don't know Ooh. what the icings are. Um nice. But yeah, I'm going to pick them up. Taco Strawville, dude. Take, take about five percent off. Oh, the really what if you did that with like a, like a Neapolitan? Uh, Neapolitan. So that's the type of ice cream. Neapolitan. Yeah. It's got oh, the three yeah. it's strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Yeah, where it had like the where it had. Let's think about this. Strawberry icing on the inside. God, you're struggling over there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Uh, strawberry icing on the inside, like the lines that you see in the cake, that's strawberry icing with chocolate cake and cream cheese frosting on the outside. Ooh. Mm. I think that'd be too sweet. You know, as a kid, bro, you remember yeah. those commercials, the Betty Crocker cake mixes that you could like put like Jello in? Or, oh yeah, or, uh, Tate had one of the pudding. little uh, Betty Crocker ovens. Bro, I wanted one. Oh, you mean uh, you wanted one? I did. I wanted to make some bomb cakes, bro. I remember asking for like a year. For like, <laughs> I wanted that to be my Christmas present. It was a Betty Crocker cake mix set, bro. I wanted to make some crazy cakes. I was like nine. Could you imagine Jake as a baker? <laughs> he looks like the baker in the cartoon yeah. movies. The freaking huge the six nine hat. dude. Was it a Betty Crocker oven? I know what you're talking about. The one with the light bulb. Oh, you're talking about the Easy Bake Easy oven. Bake Easy Bake Oven. Bake. That's what it's called. <laughs> dude, those are awesome. Yeah, bro. I, I remember looking make at Make like them. crappy little pies in there. Oh, dude. <laughs> but aren't even but the <laughs> commercial, would, they would make the commercial look like Oh, yeah. They pull like a full-blown cake out of there. You yeah. get it home and you just pull out this little, you know, brownie. It's like, oh, well, that sucks. You know what they probably made you do? It probably wasn't even like the, that freaking light bulb probably didn't do crap. They just taught you how to make like a self, like a, like a no-bake cookie. Or like a no bake brownie, right? And they were just like, "Oh yeah, this uh, this this light bulb here, bud. Yeah, that'll, this make it, bud. that'll make it real, uh, real good." Speak- All right, well, how much time are we at? We got forty eight. All right, what are you gonna say? I was gonna say, speaking of bud, we need to go to a hockey game, bud. Yeah, bud. Yeah, didn't you just go go it, to one last night, dude? So fun. I haven't been to one in 
eight years? I meant to swipe up. I was like, this dude is not at a hockey game. What the freak is going yeah, on? Yeah, we got to meet a player named Matt Desheen, who back in the early 2000s was drafted as the number three pick overall. And he 2000s. just played his 1,000th game back in December. Dang, and so bro. beforehand, he was at, I don't remember what team he was playing for but he played there for so many seasons and then he was like bro i got enough money like i just want a cup and so he ended up taking a huge pay cut to come to dallas because apparently dallas has been really good for the past few years and they've been yeah, contenders they they've and been so, like in the western conference finals yeah for... and so he was like i just want to win a cup man so we got to meet him last night he was super nice guy super down to earth so it's so, it's a fun environment bro hockey fans are different they all got that mullet boy they all got the one perm. tooth missing too. Yeah. <laughs> they got the coolest jerseys though. Yeah, they do. I want one. Like, and like the hoodie jerseys. Yes. You know? Oh god. I want one of those so bad. They're sick. They're like two hundred and sixty bucks. It they're, was funny. They're we, expensive, we walked bro. up. Noah was because it was Noah's birthday yesterday, right? And so he was so excited. He was like, "Dad, I want I want a jersey." He goes, "Yeah, okay." And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, "Dang, okay, like jersey's pretty expensive, but yeah. it's his birthday, you know." And we get up to it and. Uh, he goes, oh, yeah, that's cool. You like this one, bud? He goes, yeah, yeah, I like it. He goes, okay, cool. He picks it up, looks at the price tag. Yeah, we're not getting this, dude. It's $260. <laughs> like, Dang. no. Ain't no way. No, nah, dude. They, they, It's, yeah. And, that, like, NBA jerseys even. Like, if you go to an NBA game and you pop in there and you just want, like, one of the Nike dry fit, like, like the ones, the ones, bro, no. 90. 140. Now, oh. 130? You stupid. Uh-uh. Like. Like I want if it's like a if it's like a popular player. So like I went the thing I remember so it was the game I told you this already. Like we went to the game that was like about to close for COVID. It was in Miami. Me and Asa went, and we got tickets for like thirty bucks off of like the last minute ticket app or whatever. Mm. So we pull up. We have some like really good seats for like thirty bucks, right? Yeah. And we go. And I'm like, bro, I want a Tyler Hero jersey. Like that'd be pretty dope. Bro, I'm not even joking. It was like one sixty nine ninety nine. Oh my god. I was like. And that was back then. What? It's probably two twenty now. Hell yeah! I wanted like a dope. I want to get Tate, Tate likes Jason Kelsey. Oh yeah! And so I wanted to get her a Jason Kelsey jersey. It'd be the only jersey she ever has. But it's like that'd it'd be, be cool. It'd be funny because it's yeah. Jason Kelsey. Yeah, no facts. But that would be sick. Yeah, I w- we should go to a Mavs game. Actually, I was oh, actually yeah. looking at tickets the other day. They I love played. Mavs game. They play the Golden State Warriors. Boy, next week. I bet those prices are high. Uh, not crazy. Not crazy. They were like fifty bucks. Uh, for like ticket a good seat? For a decent seat. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm not, that's not bad. Is that before or after fees? They charge fees. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that on what, Mavs.com? No, it was on StubHub. Yeah, bro. You'll, that 50 bucks is easily 100. Um, after Because they'd be like, oh, StubHub fee, oh, convenience fee, oh, uh, thanks for uh, Third working party for, fee. Yeah. yeah. Take well, because I was looking. I'd, add a little 5 to 10% there, Squirrely Dan. No, <laughs> joke. <laughs> no joke. You know? I'd love to sit down on like, the uh the floor level at one point because the i i would do it one one game of like the season or something like that because their tickets are like eight to twelve hundred bucks but i'd go to like uh i'd go to like to a pistons game and be like all right <laughs> who are they playing first off then i go get court side seats for like 300 <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> they suck um that would be sick every game i've been to it's been a blowout and then i go home and like third quarter because i'm like i don't want to sit here and like be here during traffic and then they it, and then i look on the espn the next day and it was like a three-point game i'm like bro like <laughs> missed out on a good game yeah Jake. right like we went to the mavericks and the hornets and i think they were up like 30 in the second quarter Came mavericks were lost yeah and i was like I, I like i like checked the score the next day i think the mavs won by six i was like the should, last i should have stayed yeah. last mav game i went to was when dirk was still playing oh shoot it was a minute ago yeah, we would play at American Airlines. We did that two years in a row. We would pick a team, and it was like a fundraiser or something like that, and we would play. That's cool. Bro, playing at American Airlines is different. Oh, yeah, Because it's like you play in high school, and you're in the high school gym, and there's walls behind the goal. It, your whole field of perspective is different. Changes. We yeah, were yeah, airballing, huge. bro. We were airballing free throws because, like, you – you don't Your depth know perception is totally off. Way different because all you you just it's just stands, and it's it was crazy. Like you, we uh, since it was like an exhibition, you know, it was it counted towards our like regular season total, but mm. like not in like district or anything right. like that. So we would play from the three point line, and bro, that's different. Like we wouldn't know threes from 
our three point line. Like yeah. there's no way we weren't gonna put what tape on the floor. Right. You know, so we were just shooting from the three the NBA one, and that's crazy different. It's mm-hmm. far, dude. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. It's like three foot off the uh off the back line right there of the free throw line. Yeah. It's dude, it's different. I think it's like twenty four feet. It's Dang. it's crazy. It's far. That's where I was shooting from all in high school though. Yeah, you're just pulling up from thirty. He was, he, he was also uh, grabbing 30, 30 catches a game in football. I was about 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and on that note. Yeah, we'll end it on what that What a great though. pod, guys. Yeah, good job. We'll smell you later, we'll, stanky uh, ass. Yeah, I will oh. be back for my honeymoon. Tan, oh. tan, tan, fat, and happy. No, I don't want to know. You don't want to know what happens on nope. the honeymoon? Nope. That's my sister. Wow, this is turned for the worst. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>